Sure! Whoop! And M, and M. Beep, beep. That beep. Huh. How will you get the beat here? That's when I power stop abusing it Everything me say I chew me put me life on it And M&M I like the word but ask your girl You support an M&M and say word Fire views and M&M, interviews and M&M Best news and M&M Call your number 647859 3539 Beep 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 Shoo a whoop M&M and M news As me telling them I bring the best Right now, the studio turn up, turn over. It's up on a different dimension. We have a dancer, and one time she start dance, people have just look. We have a dancer, definition of spectacular. Right now we have Dogaros! So we have a set of the world, Dogaros. Hey, I'm just here. Come to sp um, support NMN. And um, yeah, we're just here doing an interview. First question I ask you, where you get the name from, Dogaros? Okay, so um, I guess when I came back into the dancehall scene in about 2010 or so, or 2008, sorry, um, I got my locks. I had locks because before I used to um, dance, what you say, 2000, early 2000, and my name was China. And we had a dance group called Illmatic, and that was like me, Pinky Diamond, a bunch of other people I don't talk to. And it was, we sell off, we sell off. We were the biggest girl dance group in Toronto at, for reggae. And then. When I left, I came back and this guy named Spenny Spenny out of Toronto gave me that name, Dagaras, call of the Daga, you know? So, <laughs> yes, and then I have my locks, so they call me Dagaras, and that's where I was born. <laughs> All right, people, let me tell you, me then a whole heap apart with Dagaras, and I see she do some things make me have to say, whoa! <laughs> Dagaras, me then a party, and I see a brother come up to you and say, my gear dance. And when his shoe get hot, me see a holy man lift him up. <laughs> So, uh, where you come up with that from? Can you miss it come up with them things there? What, what, make, what make you come up with that idea? And what, what, what drive in here make you do that? To tell you the truth, a long time I was doing that still from, like I said, from 2000 when Mataran used to come up here and DJ Tyrone and he used to call me Zena, Warrior Princess, you know? And yeah, he used to talk because I was strong, you know? As you can see, my big build. And man, them used to think that they can come and mash up girl in a dance, you know? So I had to say, nah, none of that. Let me show you what it is. And we bedroom bully that, you know? And that's what it is. Why, people, <laughs> let me tell you something. Dagaras, me see her in a whole heap of competition and Dagaras take it to people. Dagaras, boy, I tell the world and dancers out there how you prepare when you go for your competition. Okay, like for a competition, it's all about the mindset. You know what I mean? You gotta keep a positive mind. You gotta work out. I wasn't really a workout person, but you know, I'm just a, put the music on and I'm there. But for people who want to go into this, you got to have a lot of strong minds. You can't be weak minded because if you're weak minded, they'll tear you alive. You know what I mean? The competition alone will tear you alive. So you have to be strong. You have to be strong and talent. You know what I mean? If you and, and um, what's it called? Not to say conceited, but you have to have a lot of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, a lot of pride in what you do. You know what I mean? If you, as a dancer, doubt yourself, it will show when you're dancing. It will show on your dancing. You gotta be confident. That's the word. You gotta be confident. And once you have that, nothing can stop you. People, you with Dagger I say, every dance in the world, if you wanna compete, you got to rehearse, exercise boy dancing. And the next thing, the main important thing, you have to be confident. Yep, hey, confident. Dagger us. May I feel answer that question? You know? Um Ush dancer you think better and why? Out of Michael Jackson or Bobby. Okay, well, you know what? I think they're both great. I can't really say one is better. Michael Jackson, he brought some legendary dancing and so did Bogo, you know what I mean? Bogo brought the basics. Any dance that's out right now, it was Bogo who make it. And then they're recopying it right now. And they're saying it's their dance and you know what I mean? Adding a two little twerk here and there and calling it a different dance. Bogo set the trend, you know what I mean? So if you can't do the basics, what it is? Michael Jackson, he had, you know, his own little thing. You know, he had more of the hip hop, in it, you know, and then he had some pop, he had some jazz, he had all kind of things, and that's what made him great. And what he did, he was confident. Both of them were confident. Michael Jackson, he brought it into the hip hop R&B scene, Bogo brought it into reggae scene, but both of them were two legends, so we can't really say who is better than who. They're both great. People, me love our answer. In this world, there's no room for compete. Everybody a winner, so just go and win. Me love Michael Jackson, me love every dancer, Bogle. Me love the style, them, the way they move, and them t 
teach the earth. Right now, Dadaras, what the main reason why you, you do dancing? Because I love dancing. I was always in, I was always musically inclined, you know, like from when I was younger. In um, elementary, I used to play a lot of instruments. I played trumpets, you know, piano, drums, tuba, anything I picked up, I picked up and I, and I mastered it. And then as going into like, um, you could say high school time now, I met up with not even say met up with Brock. Brock has been my friend from a long time, but he brought me into the reggae part of dancing. You know what I mean? Even though we've been dancing as little kids, you know, doing our little butterfly hair and you know, in our little parties, but I really came into dancing because of Brock. And it was grade ten. I remember we did a little talent show in school, and they're like, "No," he's like, "Yo, you know, Daga, you're good," or whatever. So I just kept on going and kept on learning all the man moves. I never used to Brock. I never used to be that dancer that was skinny out in the dance hall. I used to be a dancer with like a man. You know what I mean? But then, you know, as you get older, you realize that, you know, as a woman, you can't really always bring the man dance because they want to see that feminine part of it. So you had to pick up that. But, you know, dancing all over, I was just always into dancing. From young, from Bogo back in the days when I was in grade three, growing up, I was doing the tati, the whirl of dance, you know, the butterfly. And then now, whatever's out there, daga. Yeah. <laughs> all right, you see, you have lots of people who are confused. That's a people who, um, about dance, I mean, it's a person who got any kind of party, you know. You have people confused, some people say when they go to a certain party and see some people do certain dancing, it's going a negative way. Mm, mm. More you clarify, because me know say it's entertainment and fun, more you clarify to the viewers and tell them why it's not. Okay, is it? that's a good question. Because, you know, as a woman dancer, right, as soon as we go up on the floor or we skin out in a certain way, you know what I mean? Everyone has their eyes as, you know, she's loose or she's a skatel or, you know, she's not a good girl. You know what I mean? And it's not always like that. I'm not going to say that it's not out there where you do have those type of girls, but it's not always like that. Some people just love the dancing. You know what I mean? It's like rapping or it's like uh, making music or you're, you're, you're an artist. People, I love da dancing. You know what I mean? So. When people do, you're gonna get that stereotype no matter what, you know what I mean? Because it is dirty dancing, you know what I mean? So no matter what, you're always gonna get the negative aspect, but you know, usually people who have a little more common sense <laughs> or people who like, you know, know the culture of the dance hall, they will know that it's not, it's not slack. It's not, you know, dirty, dirty girls them on the floor or whatever. It's, it's, it's culture and it's entertainment. And if the music wasn't saying broke out and skin out, be, then the be. dancers would not be broken out and skinning out. So maybe before you judge the dancers, you need to judge the artists who is singing the song to make us be broken out and skin out. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, you know? Hey, so. <laughs> people, me and NM co-sign when she say a million percent. People, it's when you go to a party and you see a girl jumping off or something, diving, you see a man do what kind of thing, that don't define him soul and him character. No, you see, life is this. Everybody entertain themselves in a different way. So when you go out and see somebody do and do I entertain themselves, just do your thing. Don't watch nobody and criticize nobody. Cause I know Dagaras as a real woman. You understand Street. me? Street. And Mr. see she mash up the dance floor. Street. So Dagaras, more you big up some people have your back in you know, all okay. the way. Well you see first me? and foremost, God. Ja is the number one because without him, we would not be here today. Next one, the realest man, Danger Flex. Oh. You see him, he's a real man. You yeah, understand? In the bad mind people, he don't, you know, he don't spread no propaganda on people, nothing like that. Anything you talk is real. I wanna big up Penny Bling, because if you see Penny Bling, he's the next man coming from Jamaica, and he made us. Spectacular DJ. You understand? Dagaras. He made me come out there to make the dancehall scene respect me to a point, you know what I mean? And Pinky Diamond, dancehall queen Pinky Diamond, my best Big friend. Dancer. Love that girl, you know what I mean? Always have her back, she always have my back, you know what I mean? I big up my family. You know what I mean? And I big up myself because you know what? Like I say, in this game, there's a lot of haters and there's a lot of people that you have to watch out for. So the few you keep, the few little people that surround you is the better, to tell you the truth, because you know, with that fame comes a lot, a lot of responsibility. You know what I mean? So the little people that I keep around me, you know what I mean, is the ones who I say is real. Straight. And right now, more want to tell every promoter out there, anybody who want to keep an event, Dagaras is a dancer, a professional dancer, who me see go out and when she work, she make people go wow and remember every move what she do. And can still remember it for years. Mm -hmm. So in case somebody want to book you, I want to tell them where they can find you. 
You can find me on Facebook. It's Daga Sima Ross on Facebook. I'm on, I have my YouTube page, Daga Ross 416. I'm on Instagram, Daga Ross. I'm on um, BBM. Um, don't remember my pin right now because I ain't like that. I don't have my pin in my head. But I will get to back to you on that one. <laughs> okay. Um, and you can always link me on Facebook. And Facebook is where I usually do all my, um, you know, bookings and stuff like that. But, you know, going on that too, I'm going to say something. Promoters. Okay? Stop being cheap. Okay? And I'm not going to hide and talk this one. And I want you guys to put this on air. Stop being cheap. Because, what does it say? No money, no me. <laughs> you can't expect to get free service. Because my outfit, my gas, my liquor, my entry, everything is expensive. By the time I look, I'm spending at least $300. And what? To rip up my outfit? I sweat up my outfit? And then what? I go home with nothing? My back broke? My foot broke? <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on. Respect is due where respect is due. Stop being cheap, you guys, especially you ones in the big, big, um, pro, uh, what's it called, banquet halls, okay? I know you're going home with at least 40 Gs, okay? Liquor alone is making you money. Don't be cheap. And all I ask for even a 50 to 100 bucks, don't be cheap, okay? So I know you guys are probably not going to like this part, but I have to talk the truth, you know what I mean? No money, no me, and this is why I came on here, to talk the truth. No money, no me. Make sure you guys start being stingy because you guys pay the Jamaican people and when they come up here, they don't do nothing that I do to hype up your dance. Then stand up and go out like they're big, big superstars. So, please, respect the Canadian artists and respect the people that are you have in Toronto because Toronto has a lot of talent that needs to be pushed. And you guys, don't push the people who are out there because what, maybe, you know, like I said before, maybe because I'm not loose, you know what I mean, as a woman. You know what I mean, maybe I'm not doing things that these girls are doing to get that hype, but Respect is due and respect is due. You know I'm bad because as soon as I come to your dance, it's Dagaras, Dagaras, Dagaras. So please, do what you guys gotta do, man. Dagaras is too important plan to me of highlight. Promoters out there, I want, to, I want to listen to me carefully. If I lie, me I tell you, see, I lie. I go to lots of parties with promoters in Canada and all over the world. They take people and they pay individuals to come do act and the individuals come in the party and stand up. Mm -hmm. And them I buy them all kind of liquor and I praise them and they don't work. Yep. Listen to me. I want to tell these promoters. Don't look out for names. Look out for individuals that work. Tell Who gonna buy them? You say no money, no me. It's when somebody work, it means they're supposed to achieve. So when somebody come out and work, they're supposed to achieve, they're supposed to pay them. So give it up to all that people who come out and when them come out, they always do them job. That's so you come up for entertain, say I go work. Dagaras, mm. right, right now, this is NMNM, NM. everybody come on the show. Give her a little song. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, if you, she's not an artist, people, but maybe she can be. But right now, Dagaras, boss something. NMNM. NM. Alright, I wrote this song a long time ago, probably probably like seven years oh, ago. So you're right, huh? you know, <laughs> it's one little song I tried to sing, it was after Military Rhythm, after Munga's Rhythm. And um, I'm gonna do a little spit. Alright. Me na see no girl when me free da Come in and me face and wanna go on like a gangster One of the baddest girls them in the tea da So come in and me face and me will show you who's idiot When you come in on my face with you I do You want girl box but me look a tutu When you looking at my face the girl face screw What you trying to do? Trying to diss my crew? I say say she mad and she say say she cool She say say she hard and she don't have a clue You know? That's it you know? <laughs> So you know, what? Dagaras, me love it. <laughs> you see it, but right now, you know, me being an artist, because, you know, right now I'm trying to put down the dancing thing, because I think I'm getting a little too old for that. And these young girls are doing some acrobat stuff that I don't think my body can do anymore. So, look out for me. I might be writing some lyrics, you know what I mean? Selectors, you know, I'm not going to beg, but look out for me, because I might make a couple tunes out there that might match you guys, you know, the same way my dancing did. So, just look out. I'm going to be working with, you know, No Money, No Me Productions. <clears throat> so, Look out. Listen to me. I want to know Dagaras is spectacular. Out of this world with punch. This is Dagaras from NM NM. Why does big up the kids in the world and everybody else? Yes, Dagaras. kids, I love you. Because you see, the kids are our futures. We have to make sure that those kids are growing in a way where we can use them for the future. You see me? So, big up the kids. You know, stay in school, kids, because without education, you're nothing. You understand? Even if you want to be the biggest gangster in the world, education is first. Because you want to have an education before you pick up gun. You understand? So, kids, big up yourself. Everybody in the world, big up yourself. You know what I mean? Scarborough, East, North, West, South, big up yourself. 
and one more question I have to ask you, Dagaras. Mm. Because I have to ask you this because you are a real authentic lady in the dance hall with a head on her body. Mm. And she's spectacular. More and you give a word of advice to these guys who try to come to the party and women and fight. Because music and want to mix. More you just talk to them. Who plan to go there to fight? Because mm. we don't want that in our party. So more you talk to them for the police, Dagaras. Alright. Well, we know if you're in the dancehall scene, you know, say like uh, Beanie and Bounty and, you know, Cartel, Movado and all them things. Usually, when they're fighting, it's not real. It's all for publicity. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, coming into a dance to look a girl who's sleeping with your man or, you know, someone talked about you on road and then you're going to fight him at the dance. Why come to a dance to fight? That's supposed to be where people release stress and we come there to enjoy ourselves. You know what I mean? And then us as black people, we're always locking off every venue that we have. So why do we need to do that? Stop the fighting and dance. That's what it comes down to. Bottom line, stop fighting because you're just wasting people money, the promoters money, and everyone else in there, you're just wasting our time to come out, driving so far to come to a dance, to make it done at 12 o'clock because some idiot wants to fight. Stop it. It doesn't make sense anymore, guys. We're in 2014. This is NM, NM News with Daga Rasse, who was Danger Fest, Mr. Spectacle, and she said, party and stop the fighting, the party. Remember, share that one, yeah. Shoo, wow.